Good morning, I'm Grace Lee. Let's look at your top stories. Tightness testing is underway at the tanks at Red Hill. Now the process ensures that there are no leaks. The military has to do it as part of the state's requirements. One thing officials point out is that the tanks will not be pressurized during this testing. We are told that the work will last until July 21st. The Red Hill Fuel Tank Advisory Committee meets this afternoon. Topics include updates on defueling, closure and remediation. There's also supposed to be information on the AFFF release and response and on the DOD Red Hill Medical Clinic. People can join in person or online. We're going to post a link at hawaiinewsnow.com. Go to the Sunrise tab and then click the As Seen on Sunrise link. The meeting happens at the Moanalua High School Performing Arts Center from 1 to 5 p.m. We're told that the public will get the chance to share comments or ask questions. The opening of the rail line is approaching and some are wondering why the tracks stop in the middle of a field in Kapolei. The line abruptly ends just Makai of the East Kapolei Rail Station, about three quarters of a mile from Kamakana Ali'i. Now that shopping center was not there when the first rail columns went up, but now some residents want the line to connect to the mall. And it doesn't make a lot of sense to wait for a bus, but at the same time, it's a long walk here in, in Eva, oh, Kapole, midsummer, you know, you're not going to make want to make that walk. We do need to extend it, but right now with our, ex, our expected funding, we have to concentrate on finishing segments two and three first. Segment one from East Kapole to Aloha Stadium will start service on June 30th. Segments two and three to Kaka'ako are about a decade away. Okay. Uh, Grace, the light winds will continue. At least we'll have a trade wind breeze, though, coming out of the east and the northeast. And that should help with the air quality, help with humidity levels not getting too high. But overall, we're going to see a pretty nice day today. Granted, there are a couple of uh, splashes out there for a handful of windward spots this morning uh, over on the, the Hilo side, especially. But the rainfall totals are limited. There's not a lot of rain out there. And we'll see a lot of sunshine by the middle of the day. High temperatures climbing into the upper 80s for some spots. Now, as far as the surf, it's uh, still going to be the best on the south shore. Plus, you got to add in the light trade winds. Conditions will be very good. And even though the north shores are very small, we're expecting a country swell by tomorrow.